Hi there, welcome to another episode of We Are The Church, bringing you a daily word of encouragement from the First United Methodist Church in Orange, California. Well, happy Wednesday to you friends during this Holy Week. Uh, we are w making our way uh, in these brief moments through some of the passages of what is called the Song of the Suffering Servant or the Servant Song from the middle part of the prophet Isaiah. These are words written uh, uh, to be encouraging to the people of God while they were in captivity in Babylon. And today we're going to be reading from chapter 50 of Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 50 verses 4 through 7. The Lord God has given me the tongue of a teacher, that I may know how to sustain the weary with a word. Morning by morning he wakens. He wakens my ear to listen to, as those who are taught. The Lord God has opened my ear, and I was not rebellious. I did not turn backward. I gave my back to those who struck me and my cheeks to those who pulled out the beard. I did not hide my face from insult and spitting. The Lord God helps me, therefore I have not been disgraced. Therefore I have set my face like flint, and I know that I shall not be put to shame. The Lord God helps us, therefore we know that we shall not be put to shame. What a deep word of encouragement from this prophet. But more than that, this is a verse that speaks of that daily intimacy that can be uh, ours when we know the Lord on a, in a personal and powerful way. This is someone who has been given a mission to sustain God's weary people with a word. And so morning by morning, he wakens and God puts the word in his ear. And as one who has been taught by the elders, he goes forward to share the word in the streets. It was not a popular word for whatever reason, this servant of God, <clears throat> as, shared, as he shared the word, was finding that people didn't receive it well. They called him a blasphemer. They punched at him. They pulled at the beard. They insulted him. They, they spit at him. And yet he is determined to go forward because the Lord God is with him. And he knows that he can see the project through. And he will not be put to shame. And God will vindicate his faithfulness. When's the last time you felt a faith like that? When God wanted you to share a word with uh, somebody or with a, a group of people, and you knew that it might not be the most popular thing, but you went ahead and you said it anyway, and you believed in your convictions, and no matter what personal things might be done to you, you had to tell the truth as God had revealed it to you. What a powerful, powerful witness Isaiah is giving to us. And if you have a, have a difficult thing to share, a, a difficult conversation that needs to take place, if you've been putting off one of those conversations, I want to urge you now to uh, take courage, to know that the Lord is with you, and then go ahead and get started on that conversation. You don't need to hurt anyone. You don't need to insult anyone. You simply need to tell the truth as you see it and as God has revealed it to you and then let the chips fall where they may. Isaiah provides for all of us that picture of courage and faith. And I want to encourage you to be persistent and to go forward with what God is calling you to do today. Don't put it off any longer. Even though it might be worrisome at first, you can, um, you can get the job done because you know that God is with you and God will, will indeed vindicate our faithfulness. Let's pray. Oh God, give us the courage of Isaiah to know that when you are speaking to us, we can share what you reveal to us without fear uh, because we know that you are with us and you will uphold us. So Lord, save us from being so politically cautious that we are no longer able to bear witness for there are those who are weary that need a word from you. Use us, O oh Lord. For we are yours and we would be your servants in Jesus name. Amen. 
Friends, thanks for stopping in today and uh, thanks for sharing these moments. Uh, I'm always blessed to have these moments with you. Remember, as you're going about your work today, to do no harm and to do all the good you can and to stay in love with God. And I want to remind you that you can find We Are The Church every Monday through Saturday right here on the YouTube channel for the First United Methodist Church in Orange. Until next time, I'm Pastor Bill Johnson saying thanks for being here. See you soon.